Hey what's up guys I'm here and this is the OnePlus 5. So today we gonna unlock the bootloader, install the TWRP recovery and we'll root the device. So this video will contain 3 processes and all of them in one single video. So let me tell you first of all your data will erase after unlocking the bootloader. So make sure to make a backup of your current applications, softwares or any other documents and photos videos file from your smartphone. And after that you need to go to the settings, then go to the about phone and then tap the build number 7 times to enable the developer options. So after enabling the developer options then go to that and then turn on this advanced reboot option so that you can go to bootloader or recovery mode directly from here and then click on enable OEM unlocking. So you need to enter the pattern or password lock as same as the screen lock and then click on enable. And after that just you need to power off the device. So hold the power button and go to the reboot and then click on bootloader then touch to reboot and then it will go to the fastboot mode. So now connect the device to the PC with the help of your type C cable and then you need to download these 4 to 5 files in your PC. So first is the ADB software so you need to install this then click on it open it and then type capital Y then hit enter then it will ask again then type capital Y again and so on so do this around two to three times and then it will open a setup wizard then click on next and it will install so next you need to install this minimal adb and fast boot so to run the commands we need to use the software and then see this location because this is so important where it is installing because we need to go to that place to copy some of the files and then you need to download this magic zip file and this application magic manager and this recovery also and then copy these files and paste in the minimal adb and fastboot installation folder so go to that location and paste those files and after that just shift plus right mouse click button and then click on open command window here then type fastboot devices and your device name will be listed here now type fastboot oem unlock and then hit enter then something will show up on your phone like unlock bootloader then you can scroll from the volume keys and uh, then highlight the yes and then click on power button to select it and then it will unlock the bootloader and then it will wipe all the data from your smartphone so that's why i said earlier that you need to make a backup of your all the files and then you can remove the cable from your phone and after that you need to just uh, quickly go through the setup wizard to set this up and after setting up just connect the phone with the PC again and then click on this transfer files so that you can move some of the files to your smartphone then move this magix zip file and also the magix manager in your smartphone and paste it in the internal storage now time to flash the recovery file so before that you need to go to the uh, fastboot mode again but our data has been wiped and everything has been reset to default so we need to open the developer option again tap the build number seven times again and then enable the developer options then click on advanced reboot option and you can see here oem unlocking has been disabled because it is already unlocked now time to go to the fastboot mode again now hold the power button go to the reboot and then click on this bootloader fastboot mode and after that just go to this minimal adb and fastboot folder again open command window type fastboot devices to see whether your device has been connected or not then type fastboot flash recovery then space name of the recovery just you can rename the recovery to any name just don't copy the default name because it contains dash and space which don't allow us to install the recovery so just rename it as usual as you want and then paste it here then add .img at the end then hit enter then it will install in your phone now hold the volume down and power key at the same time to go to the recovery mode now it will reboot to the twrp recovery mode now click on never show this message again and swipe to allow modifications then you will see this twrp recovery mode then go to install then select the magic zip file and install this and after that just click on reboot the system and then click on do not install so your device will reboot in few minutes and after that open the magix app manager and it will ask for an update so don't install from that because it will not install so download the es file explorer from the google play store and then click on this magix zip file 
then open the magix app manager which you have already downloaded earlier separately because it is the latest version and then enable the unknown sources and then click on install so it will install and open it now open this magix app manager then click on this verify safety net and then it will show this green tick means it's working but if it's showing the red mark then we need to enable some of the things from the settings Then go to the settings and then you need to enable this uh, magic score and hide option so that it will work with the banking application and snapchat too because if you use super su zip file instead of magic zip file then we can't use banking applications or any snapchat app and so many apps will not work so to work with that we need to use this magic zip file instead of super su zip file so after reboot it's showing the green tick mark so it will work now install the root checker application to check whether our device has been rooted or not then click on verify then click on grant and then you will see here our device has been rooted so in all these three processes we can unlock the bootloader install the twrp recovery and root the device so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video then give the video a huge thumbs up and for any type of suggestions and queries about this video and phone just post your comment in the comment section and share this video and i will see you guys soon in my next video